perished in the icy waters have never been identified. Now, with the help of science, the families of some of the Titanic's victims may soon know where their ancestors are buried. NBC's Kevin Tibbles has more. For nearly 90 years, they've been resting unknown in a cemetery in Halifax, Nova Scotia. They are the 43 unidentified victims of the Titanic disaster, whose gravestones simply list them by number. But now, new hope. A team of forensic scientists, with the family's permission, have exhumed three of the graves, hoping DNA can help replace those numbers with names. I'm hoping very much that we get the results, and it would be quite, quite an event if we do. April 15, 1912, the day the luxurious ocean liner Titanic went down in the frigid waters of the Atlantic about 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland after slamming into an iceberg. The ship everyone claimed was unsinkable was the pride of the White Star Cruise Line and sank in less than three hours. That disaster has become the stuff of legend and Hollywood blockbusters. So many watched the epic film version that Titanic became the highest grossing movie of all time. But the real victim story is still not over. Of the three graves exhumed in Halifax last week, two were severely damaged by water with no hope of identification. That leaves the third grave. Of all the victims of the sinking, that third unidentified body continues to capture the world's attention. A two-year-old boy, found wrapped in a coat floating in the sea six days after Titanic went down. The men who found the child were hardened sailors and yet were so moved by their discovery, they pitched in and bought a special headstone. Some believe the boy may be the son of Alma Paulson, a mother who calmed her children as the ship went down by playing her harmonica. The story of the unknown child and Alma Paulson is certainly one of the, the, those stories that plucks at the heartstrings of many people when they hear it. But some still believe the grave should not have been disturbed. I don't see a purpose for it at this point in time, 89 years later. The research team says the families want closure. They're part of their family lore, part of their um, genealogy, and they, they want to know. They want to know where these people are. When the Titanic set off from Southampton, England, no one knew these waves of farewell would mean goodbye forever. Now, from a silent grave in the Canadian Maritimes, hope at least one of the Titanic's victims will be identified, the end of a search that has lasted almost 90 years. For today, Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. And we're back with more on this Wednesday morning right after these messages.